Today's tutorial is in specific response to a request uh, to show how to create um, an elevation uh, of a wall, obviously. So this is the 3D model um, that I've already created. And eventually this wall here is going to be shown as an elevation. So I've literally got like 15 minutes to do this because um, I only have about 15 minutes video time. So I'm just going to crack on. Sarah, I hope um, you're able to follow this okay. If you have any queries just give me a shout so literally camera standard views top pan across to the origin camera parallel projection rectangle tool start at the origin and then drag and I'm going to type in the dimensions which I already know 5900 zero, zero. then a comma to separate them 5300 zero, zero. then I'm going to select the offset tool type in the width of the wall and now I'm going to create the chimney breast and always following the proper axis so I'm following the green axis here to make sure that it's straight along the red and then again along the green then I'm going to select this line to delete it because I don't need it camera perspective Orbiting tool to get a bit of perspective on that. Push pull tool, and I'm going to type in 2800. Now I'm going to um, find a fireplace, so I go into Window, Components, and um, this is where uh, a lot of Google SketchUp users have already uploaded components they've already made. Um, it's called 3D Warehouse. I'm going to choose this fireplace. Select download model, load this directly, yes. And there it is. I'm just going to let that rest on the floor. And then line it up. But you'll notice here that it's actually, you know, protruding out the, the rear of this component. So when I try to push this back, it's actually going to you'll see what I mean. The walls coming through here on the fire. So what I'm going to do is line this up literally just by eye. That'll do. And then I'm going to hide it and just create a bit of a hole in here. So that uh, that fire has room. Just need to line it up a bit closer. Okay. Remember I mentioned the zoom extents tool in the previous tutorial? I said to you before, sometimes you can get lost. If you click that, it'll take you right back out again to the entire model, which is extremely handy. I'm actually going to scale this a little. This is the scale tool. Because it looks a bit short in height. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is create um, two windows either side. Again, components. Type in size window. I'm just going to use this one. Download model, yes, 
and I'm just going to click here, bring it up on the blue axis. This is how it has downloaded. What I need to do is click on my move tool, select the appropriate grips and bring it upright 90 degrees. Now, in order to create a hole in these walls, I didn't know the measurements of this window. I'm going to go to the measuring tool. One oh nine two point two. One four seven three point two. I'm just going to hide this for a second. And then create, press M and control to create a copy of that. Slide along the red axis so that it's level. Now what I'm going to do is line this up. Actually, it's not too bad as it as it is at the minute. I'll just move it over a wee bit. That'll do. I need to now measure the distance here. It's three seven six point one. I'm going to draw a guide from here over here and then type in 376.1 and you'll see right here is the marker. I'm going to double click here, snap onto the end point, drag it forward and it'll snap onto that marker. Then what I'm going to do is get the push pull tool, push through Push three. View hidden geometry. Right click on hide. Select the move tool. Snap on to the corner or the end point, and it will snap into place there. Then I'm going to select M, Control, and it'll take a copy of that. And then I'm going to sn snap onto the endpoint and in there. And I'm just going to push it back a bit. Push this back a bit as well with the move tool. Now I'm going to paint onto the walls the material. I already have this set up. You select paint bucket tool. I'm going to go to in model and scroll down to this wallpaper. This is actually a JPEG that I've already loaded into SketchUp. You need to make sure that it's a tiled, it, it can be tiled, which means that it, it's, it's all even, the pattern is symmetrical. So that when SketchUp tiles it, um, it's a proper full pattern. Then what I'm going to do is create the ceiling so that you literally just connect these two lines and it'll, it'll fill that in. And then I'm going to go inside the model. And I need to do this because I'm going to select the follow me tool so that I can include coving all the way around. So I'm, again, I'm going to go into components. 
and type in molding profile. This one here. I'm going to snap that right into the corner. This is the actual profile from the side as to how the coving looks. But if I use the follow me tool, um, it will actually put it all the way around this room. I'm going to use the ceiling as a guide because I want this profile to go all the way along the boundary of the ceiling. So I select the ceiling and go to tools, follow me. Sorry, wait a second. This is actually a component. I need to explode that. Again, what I'm actually going to do as well is just paint that to make sure that it's white. So, tools, follow me, select this, and as you can see, that has created coving the whole way along uh, the, the edge of the ceiling, which is a pretty cool function, to be honest. Um, and that's basically our room. In the next tutorial, uh, part two, I'll show you how to um, create an elevation from that 3D model.